Minecraft spinoffs just suck, and here's why. Minecraft was bought in 2014 by Microsoft for $2.5 billion, which turned the once indie game into a mega AAA game with the backing of a company worth $3 trillion. Since this move by Microsoft, four spin-off games have been made, which include Minecraft Story Mode, Minecraft Earth, Minecraft Dungeons, and Minecraft Legends, which have ranged from 2015 to 2023. An official live-action Minecraft movie starring actors Jason Momoa and Jack Black is set to release on April 4, 2025, produced by Legendary Pictures and Warner Brothers, which all have or will take tons of time, money, and effort to be creative. But despite Microsoft owning the biggest game ever, hasn't been able to branch out and get the ball rolling on any other projects. All the spin-offs of the game have pretty much failed, and it's hard to think that a live-action movie will be any better. You should be asking yourself why and how is this even possible? How can you not make even one successful thing in almost five attempts? Well, here's why Minecraft will always just be Minecraft and nothing else. Minecraft Story Mode Episode 1 was released on October 13th, 2015, the first and biggest Minecraft spin-off game. A game made by Telltale Games was an adventure story game which let you decide what would happen in your story. The game felt personalized to the player, leaving the experience and outcome of the game very unique to individuals. Season 1 would consist of 5 core episodes and have 3 DLC episodes which provided extra content and stories to the game. In total, all 8 episodes would take just under year to fully come out and on march 29 2016 the fifth episode would come out completing jesse's quest to find the order of the stone and defeating the wither storm episodes six and eight would also feature jesse as extra content for people who enjoyed the game but did not add to the core story this would overall be a success because on july 6 2017 an announcement would reveal a second season alongside a trailer to hype up the release set to be on july 11th which would happen and continue following jesse and his friends with new characters and challenges to discover. Five episodes would release over the span of five months, with episode five releasing on December 19th, 2017. This would be viewed overall as a positive, but fans felt like it didn't quite capture the magic of the first season and wouldn't be able to outdo the first season in popularity. We would further see this as no DLCs episodes were released, and we would also never see a third season. But in June 2018, Netflix signed a partnership agreement to bring Minecraft Story Mode to the platform on November 7th, 2018, but due to unknown reasons, would release on November 27th, 2018, which included the first three episodes. The last two episodes would be added on December 5th, but Season 2 was never added and Story Mode was removed from Netflix on December 5th, 2022. But while on Netflix, Telltale announced closure on September 21st, 2018. Then on May 31st, 2019, it was announced that Minecraft Story Mode was no longer supported and the servers were discontinued on June 25th which meant that you would no longer be able to purchase any of the episodes and the only real way to play it was if you already bought it. This continues today as you can't buy the game. Overall, this had a lot of potential to continue on and if Telltale wasn't dealing with financial issues causing them to try and pump out games, could still be a thing to this day. But you also can't blame Mojang for this failure as this wasn't really on them. Now, this was true for story mode, but Minecraft Earth was a different story. Released on December 11, 2019, Minecraft Earth was a mobile AR spin-off Minecraft game which was easily the worst attempt at a successor. This game had some initial hype behind it but completely flopped from start to finish. The game was a real life roam game, kind of like the popular Pokemon Go game which was really popular in 2016. The game had a fine concept but struggled with a couple of things. First off, the actual game itself lacked a real goal with building just being templates and everything just being copy and pasted from Pokemon Go. Where Minecraft has survival and creative, Minecraft Earth had some aspects of survival and creative in one which hurt its direction. The game lasted only 13 months with its final update being released on January 5th, 2021 and then discontinued on June 30th later that year because of COVID. Although COVID really did kill the game because you couldn't go outside, which was the whole game pretty much. 
it was very likely that the game would have died anyways. During this specific time in Minecraft history was the revival era where the game had been slowly dying for a while but was finally picking up traction again. With Minecraft growing in popularity again, Microsoft had to focus on keeping the game new and working on it so they could maintain all the new players. This was only part of the issue as Minecraft Earth also wasn't good for most users. This was due to the augmented reality part of the game which took pretty hefty performance which meant if you had an older phone you would lag, crash, and not have a fun time. If the game saw a little more focus, it may have done better and with time they might have been able to optimize it to make users with older hardware at least be able to play the game. But Mojang knew they messed up, so they gave any player who owned the game a copy of Bedrock Edition which again goes to show this failure. Fortunately for Mojang, they would learn from their two mess ups and go on to create a game that would last 39 months or 3 years, 4 months and 2 days. This game is better known as Minecraft Dungeons, which so far is the longest lasting Minecraft spin-off game that has ever been released. This is because it was the best game they released, which was an RPG Minecraft game which came out with a bang. The game was announced on September 29, 2018 during Minecraft on Earth 2018, which caused a lot of hype. The idea of an RPG Minecraft game sounded really cool among Minecraft players and with promises of new content such as new mobs, it was a very anticipated game. It was finally released a little under 2 years later on May 26, 2020 which started with mixed reviews but a lot of people loved it. The game looks really cool and dungeon crawler games have been really popular for years and Minecraft's take on it wasn't bad. The game was addictive for most players which by the colors and movement of the game makes a lot of sense. Although it had some flaws, the game wasn't bad. This can be seen by the 3 year lifespan it had but the reason it failed is very apparent. First off, the game was good but only for a short bit of time. The campaign lasts only about 5.5 hours and then after that, there is almost nothing to do. Most successful RPGs try to balance skill, looting, and difficulty. When making an RPG, finding a balance of not getting too strong too early but also feel rewarded for playing is hard. This was a very apparent problem within Minecraft Dungeons and on top of this comes a skill factor. With popular RPGs, you are going to fail time and time again until you get good at the game. With Minecraft Dungeons, the skill aspect was basically just the gear. If you picked up someone else's gear, you were just the same skill as them which just makes the game that much more one dimensional. Another big part of RPGs is classes that you play. While dungeons had different characters, they were all the same and did nothing different from one another. The game was unrewarding and pretty much didn't punish the player for any upgrades or paths they decided to take. The reason why Minecraft is so popular is because it is the complete opposite of a one dimensional game because as a sandbox, you can do whatever you want. Minecraft dungeons although fun, felt very one dimensional and this caused the game to be a one and done type of game, no real reason to come back and no reason to continue on after after the campaign. Mojang quickly realized this and they tried to fix the issue by making DLC content so you had something to do. They continued with these DLCs with a total of 6 of them which would hold as a bandaid for a while but people stopped buying these because they quickly started doubling the amount they initially paid. Which like the rest led to the inevitable announcement on September 28th 2023 that 117 would be its last update. With 25 million unique players costing $20 each, the game was pretty successful and easily the biggest project they've released but still could only last 3 years. But there is one more spin off game that Minecraft has made which had 40,000 copies sold first week and 3 million players in less than 2 weeks which topped all other games off launch. Minecraft Legends was and still is the most anticipated game of all the other Minecraft spin-offs and yet has the shortest lifespan of 8 months and 23 days. On June 12, 2022, the announcement trailer was released for Minecraft Legends and immediately grabbed the attention of players worldwide. Wait, you what? what? Wait, this is sick! What is this? The game would take a little under a year to come out, fully releasing on April 18th, 2023. As I said before, the game did huge numbers off release. Within 3 days accumulated over 20,000 copies sold or $500,000 and by the end of the week doubled that. The game only grew from there which by the end of the month was averaging 5,000 people at any given time. But by the next month dropped 93% only having 373 players at its peak. How could this be? 
How could a game reaching extreme numbers fall down so vastly and quickly? Well, talking about the game itself, it was pretty much a complete flop. Don't get me wrong, the game looks really good and feels really smooth, but the actual campaign itself just ruins it. In every negative review, which there is a lot of them, basically says the same thing, which it's fun for the first 5 minutes and then repeats itself over and over again. If you decided to stick through it, the game only takes about 12 hours to complete and that's it. Unlike dungeons, the side quests aren't that fun and according to some articles, only gives you another 6 hours of gameplay. This again is another game that falls into the one dimensional category and is a one and done type of game. You also have to think Minecraft costs $30 for both Java and Bedrock which gives you infinite gameplay pretty much. Minecraft Legends costs $40 and gives you one story so why would anyone ever buy Legends over the real game? Mojang again put itself into a box that was impossible to get out leaving the dev team to abandon the game just like dungeons and on January 10th 2024 it was announced that Minecraft Legends would receive its last update. With millions of dollars, the best developers in the space and the fan base of the biggest game of all time, Mojang failed with another spin-off game making the total count of 0 for 4. From how all these games are produced and handled, it would be very fair to assume that these games are simply cash grabs for Microsoft, as they know people will buy whatever Minecraft related thing, hence why you have seen so much Minecraft merch pushed down your throat. From what we've seen, it looks like Microsoft will find another spin-off idea to make and invest some effort into just for it to die within a couple of months. So far, the only future project that is confirmed is the Minecraft live action movie, which will probably do well. I mean, it has famous actors, a huge community of people willing to watch it, and will probably be for kids. This should and could easily be the best spinoff of the game that they will make, which leads to one question for the future. What will Microsoft decide to do? So far, they have made four games that have all failed for pretty much the same reasons. Lack of development. All of the games either lacked development, lacked communication, or just couldn't be more than one playthrough. In my opinion, I think Mojang needs to stop wasting time with these spin-offs and focus on continuing to develop Minecraft as the game is infinite. Finding a way to make a game that is Minecraft-like that will last for a long time is almost impossible at this point. I think their best chance was Minecraft Story Mode. The game could pretty much be anything they wanted and continued on forever. The game was fun, didn't conflict with the actual game, and most importantly, was different. They have had a hard time working on more than one thing at a time, and Minecraft as long as it keeps getting updates will continue to be fresh and new. If you were Mojang, what would you do in their position? They have the most successful game in the world, infinite money, and access to the best teams in the industry. With four failed spin-off games and a confirmed movie in production, would you risk dumping more money and time into a game that looks like it's doomed to fail from the start, or just continue to focus on the colossal game that Minecraft is? We haven't seen a huge game-changing update in a couple of years, so hopefully Mojang decides to lock in on the game and push it to new heights. No matter what, one thing is for sure. Microsoft sucks at making spin-offs.